Welcome back to Baxi Training Centre at Warrington. I'm Richard Green and this week's Training Tuesday Sit is all about the ins and outs of diverter valves. Yeah, no, I'm sorry about that one. Uh, but you need to stay tuned. This is the first of a two-part tip on the Khalifa Brass diverter valve. Part one, operation. As you can see here on this cutaway uh, demo valve, the original cartridge itself was made out of plastic uh, and the problem with this was um, if you get an issue we need to take it out to inspect it or service maintain it um, you've got two o-ring seals here and you've got a volume of water you can drain the boiler off through the drain cup but as you try and remove it these two o-ring seals used to create a vacuum lock which used to provide a lot of tension on the, on the cartridge itself and would lend to people pulling it and breaking this cartridge so if you've got an old style valve cartridge, what you need to do once you've drained the boiler is disconnect this union. It allows that water out so when you withdraw the cartridge, it doesn't create a vacuum lock. To get around this problem, what Khalifi have done is they've changed the design of the valve cartridge and changed it to brass, as you can see here. So this, if you order this cartridge, it will come as a brass replacement and the two valves are interchangeable. Simply remove the diverter valve head. Obviously we drain the system down, drain the boiler down completely. Uh, and remove the diverter valve head with a pair of grips. Undo the union. And we draw the cartridge as a complete assembly. Bearing in mind, as I said previously, to disconnect this union to allow to release the vacuum locks will form as you withdraw the cartridge. This cartridge will sit in. It looks smaller, but actually it's a straight swap. These two legs at the bottom here are specifically there just to keep this bottom valve seat in position. Refit the new cartridge. Tighten, refill the system, and away we go. The cartridge consists of two valve seats, hot water valve seat at the top, heating valve seat at the bottom, both connected to a push rod, which moves through the body of the diverter valve when operated from a piston from the motor at the top. Down for heating, and back for hot water. Water enters the valve body from the flow connection off the main heat exchanger, it comes in to the valve body in this position here and either goes up and through the plate heat exchanger and across to the pump to go back round to the main heat exchanger and then enters the valve body again. So you're taking primary heated water through the plate heat exchanger and back. As cold water comes in, passes through and goes out to the hot water, you're getting a crossed flow. The diverter valve motor, there is a piston in the centre, and that little piston moves in and out against the push rod which is connected to the valve seat. So it's pushing down, and then this clip comes in here, tab down to secure it in position. If we put a demand on for uh, hot water, the valve seat will move back into hot water position. If we put a demand on for heating, the valve will move back into the heating position. At the end of each cycle, if the valve water is operating, you can hear it, if you listen carefully, you can hear it click. One of the unique features of this diverter valve is that the bypass is built into the valve body on the hot water valve connection. If we have a situation where we have a fully TRV system, um, all the outlets to the system are clocked, the radiators are closed, thermostatic valves have shut down, at this point here the pressure starts to build, the pump's pushing water in, the pressure builds. Now normally this would open a bypass valve and go through a bypass pipe. But, in this instance, what it will now do, any pressure underneath will lift it 
and it will open up the waterways to the plate heat exchanger using that as a bypass. Soon as you get a thermostatic radiator valve opening up, uh, it's easier for the water to flow out to the system than keep the valve lifted in this position and it will close back down again.